<laughs> Hanging upside down. Watch, Watch the, the broken, broken ground. He's <laughs> singing it now. <laughs> That's all we've been saying for the last half an hour while this has been getting set up. All right, episode number 34 of the Money Muckle Fully Actual Podcast. Holy shit. I don't know if there are any tickets left available to our live show in a few weeks, but if there are, the link will be in the description, okay? We've done a main feed post. It must mean that there's like, must be maybe 20 or 10 tickets left. I'm just guessing two weeks into the future. Nine. Yeah, I reckon. Nine might, left. Hopefully they'll be sold out. No, and we I, can I'm going to go sold out. That's going to be my estimation. Yeah, James is usually spot on. We're going to go with nine left. <coughs> Anyway, fuck, man. What a <gasps> fucking week we had last week. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. So, the Cracker Milk Boys, they're filming their TV show pilot, right? And they um, borrowed our property last week. So, we'd work like nine to five, and then they'd rock up, and they'd film from like six to like 3 a.m., and they cast us, um, all four of us, in it. Which is cool. It was a lot of fun. But yeah. man, we had some long nights and some fucking, some short sleeps. So uh, last week was intense. It was probably the fucking longest week I've had in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you had what, four nights? And I was coming off of all the fucking, like, yeah, I had four nights here and coming off all the drugs and shit. So I couldn't sleep properly for like a few couple of nights. It was some insomnia. So man, it was fucking rough. But day eight, sober. And um, fucking here we go. Can't feel so much better. Yeah, it does, does make a difference. And this is how he's dressing now. That's not even a costume. Yeah, I fully forgot about the costume today. Yeah. So did Matt. Hanging upside down. down. Watch the Watch broken the brown. Scenario, go. All right. Now, Matt, you have... <laughs> I get to... You yeah, have to be with... Use, Mike. <laughs> you, can you do that? Yes, I can. All right, you're no longer talking. <laughs> okay, well, look, I've got a good scenario. The brown has the power. We can't hear you. N we none of them can hear you. Michael's you're been giving Matt. nothing in this until I say you are. <laughs> Monetary right. scenarios all morning, and Matt's just he's he's, he's had, had a, a gut. I don't think he answered. I don't think he answered the one. Would you Michael, break up with your you. miso for fifty grand? That's good question. Okay, so I don't want to talk about <laughs> girlfriends. <laughs> Okay, um, I've got Michael, they can't hear you. I don't want to talk. All right, to now listen up. I have control of your voice. <laughs> Hanging up. <laughs> Ready? All right, I'll there, ask. You're back. Okay. There, you're scenario. gone. Okay. <laughs> All right, go. Okay, so this okay scenario is: Would you for no a thousand dollars hang upside for, down for ten days? For, <laughs> yes. <laughs> would you for thirty dollars? Oh, this is pointless. Collect a bunch of cans <laughs> and take them to a recycling center. Yes, yes, I will. Uh, 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 like, and it takes about three How months. Many cans. I don't know. I'm gonna say like what a thousand, a thousand cans, thirty dollars. Wait, are they already here? No, you have to. Them. I have to go find them. And a do I have a time limit? Take six months. Oh, I'll do that in six months. I'll do that in a, in, a, in two weeks. Easy. Oh, I got a better scenario. You have to. You get. Three months on a yacht going through the Greek islands. What? Oh, this sounds good. Yeah, yeah. But? But you have to be the cleaner of the yacht. That sounds good, but then what What, what do I miss out on? Why? Like, what, are you just going to send me away for three months? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm, I'm stuck thinking, on a fucking these, yacht. Yeah, these are just what my scenarios Who's are. Who's on the yacht with him? Yeah. He's, you've got um, who am Span I, Spanish Who am royalty? I cleaning up after? That's the thing. Yeah, you've got uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Oh. He's dead. Well, you've got um, he's missing. Sorry. Well, so that's quite a clean up then you'd have, wouldn't you? Yeah, you yeah. probably wouldn't want to go then. Oh, right. actually, no. Cameron, I, I'd clean up that. You've got be safe. Okay, yeah, new, I'll be safe. New people will wipe him. Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, yep. and he's in. He's going Charlie's it's movie theme. It's Charlie and James. And Dennis Ferguson. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, that would be so interesting. I would go on that yacht for free. It, yeah. yeah, I'd still I would, do yeah, it. And yeah, enjoy I'd that. Still do that. Imagine yeah, how funny. Dennis would interact. Oh, with yeah, Dennis like, is a Dennis pedophile. Would be bored. Oh, He'd be so bored. I'd like yeah. side with him and like like fuck with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be interesting to see them interact. Okay. I'd keep fucking with them and go, oh, we're going to go to an island soon. You'll be able to meet people and then not go to an island. <laughs> all right, well, you get a all expenses paid trip oh, in, so through boring. Europe <laughs> for two weeks, but you have to spend 
three mm. hours a day hanging upside, hanging upside down <laughs> yeah, hanging upside down oh and have your eyes closed you have to have your eyes closed like oh, wait, be awake. I, that would be so painful you have painful. to be awake and have your eyes closed for three, three hours, hours every day can I standing spread, up standing wait, up. wait 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 can I spread the three hours across my day no you could do oh, it in one that's hit. boring I can't be done I would no, love do to see how up. red you were yeah. you'd be brown you would be actually brown you'd be you really brown you could pull brown. yourself up and like rest like upright but just on the rope that's I don't think Michael you wanted that no you I, I like the idea of hanging upside down too but you wouldn't even do it standing up so you, of course you're not going to do it we what should have a hanging upside down competition Petition. I think it's dangerous at like yeah. a certain point. Well, I then think, you pull out. Yeah, well, that's cool. Well, maybe one of us could get like a brain damage Disease. or something. Um, all right, new scenario. You have to clean. You have to dispose somehow, but you have to get rid of everything. That car, that like fucking broken down car there. All the pieces of glass, everything yeah, must yeah. be gone. Get to but it. What's the price? You get <laughs> two grand. Yeah, you, you've got to really? take care of that. And but I'll you, take care of that. You, you can't call up a tow truck driver. You've got to take every piece yourself hum, somehow. You've got to hire a truck yourself. You've got to drive it yourself. You're going to maybe take piece by piece. That's your scenario. Right, 2K. That's boring. After a while. <laughs> anyway. No. Yeah. I think yeah. <laughs> Two grand is a lot of money, dude. I'd rather just get rid of it and get the hundred bucks they give me for it. Would start. you never have eyelashes again? <laughs> wow. How are you going to do that? I don't know, I'll put a chemical on there. And can you do that? I'll find a way. And but you get three K cash right now. No, I like my eyelashes. Okay. I'll give you fifty them. fifty yeah, grand, but you never grow your eyelashes again. I and you, you don't even know how you're gonna get rid of them yet. <laughs> no, you I'll, haven't thought this spell. through. Listen, I'm taking this seriously. You haven't even thought through your scenarios properly. Oh, I don't know, I'll get a chemical. But have some I dedication. Reckon you would. To I reckon you'd give up your eyelashes for fifty k. No, you're, you're making it silly now. Anyway, look, let's let's okay. move on. We can scatter the scenarios <laughs> That's in what throughout. Me and Brown's days like. <laughs> yeah, That's when we're is. playing worms. Pretty much doing that. Just Matt sitting in silence while Michael spits a scenarios at him. Anyway, the, cr- <laughs> the Cracker Milk um, sketch. It's going to be out. Um, so we're all in it. It's going to be out. Um, I believe on Halloween. Mm-hmm. So this month. Very excited to see. It was very amazing to see them all work. They're f- proper fucking. It was like a proper set. It was very professional, and it, I think it's going to be fucking hilarious. There's lots of laughing. Michael on set. got in trouble a few times because he couldn't be quiet. Yeah, Michael was, was obsessed with playing worms the whole time during in between oh, every take. Amazingly, brought everyone. To I brought everyone man. together. I created a worms oh, cult. We had an saying. audience at one point. I didn't lose a match. I also did two v one, so it was eight worms versus four worms. Now I don't know if you guys know this, but I was world number nine. At Worms, this game. I just remembered something. And I versed two players <laughs> versus four, eight versus four, bang, gone, dead. I had one worm against seven at one point, and I took them down with one worm. I was world number nine at this game. So I've got a story from the Cracker Milk Night. One of the ladies of there had her young son at the shoot, and he was just sitting there. Michael was talking to him, and he goes, Oh, do you play video games? And he was telling him, and he just started telling him about Worms. And I was like, Here it comes. And he's like, I was world number nine in Worms. He's telling this kid really excited. I never normally tell people that. And this kid got excited. I was like, that's the first person I've ever seen get excited on the fact that you're world number nine. A seven-year-old. I can connect with kids better than adults, that's for sure. We had a gun battle at one point too. I swore in front of that kid. Yeah, I always (laughs) Yeah, holy shit. And I swore big. It conditions them. It's he good. was, James is standing right next to this kid. And what do you say? You're like, I was, fucking yeah, cut. No, I was, I was unwinding a bunch of fucking electrical cords. And I was just like, fuck you, man. Like screamed at the <laughs> court. Like a bit oh, of a shock. Was very I good. looked to my side and he's just like, these two innocent eyes looking up at me. Very shocked. <laughs> I saw you called him that. Yeah. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holding cords. <laughs> <laughs> then he oh, came and man. offered me to help. He was like, do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I've just come up with the best oh, scenario ever, fuck. Brown. No, this is good. ruining this podcast. <laughs> okay. You have a homeless woman approach you. Ooh. Where are you going to get them from? No, she's just fucking where, homeless. Where is she? There's no homeless woman around here. It's a hyper- hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, I know, but he doesn't get the game. It's not good enough. You don't get the game. All right. So this isn't real. <laughs> this is just made up and you just got to answer it. So what's the point of me getting involved if it's not real? It's exciting. It this reveals, is a good one. It this reveals you a, a, a kernel of truth about yourself. So a homeless woman comes up to you, right? She's pregnant. She can't afford an abortion. And she says, look, I've looked it up online and I just 
fucking can you just help us out and shove a shove a um oh. a coat hanger up there and oh. pull it out oh. for Jesus. It. And then you're like, oh, what? But she says, I know where some gold is, and that gold is worth five hundred thousand dollars. Would you do it? I think you've been muted. It's so tempting. <laughs> no. I don't want anything to do with that. Five mil. Hundred five, 100K. five mil. She is lying to me, clearly. No, she's <laughs> she will give you five mil if you just <laughs> why is she homeless if she has five yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so you don't anyway. To treasure map she gives you. But she has it. She know. chooses to be homeless. She hates but capitalism. Does, it doesn't matter. Don't try and make it seem. No, like I want an answer. About. No, yeah, no. I don't what if she had the gold? <laughs> Take what? the homeless part out of it. She's a crazy lady. <laughs> I, if she's crazy, I'm not going to believe her that she has the gold. It's no, but she has it in her yeah, hands, in her showing hand. it to you. But like, I don't want to do it myself, Matt. Like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm he, desperate. He I've just, gone to yeah, abortion clinics. Done, yeah. It's illegal now. I can't do it. I can't have this baby, Matt. Have five hundred thousand dollars in gold bullion. I hate. What do you say? All right, so. Yeah, I would do it. Absolutely. She's got five million in her hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill that thing. You're a horrible person, okay. man. Okay. That's yeah, it's unbelievable. I'm hanging up. It's the, the hanging upside down. down. <laughs> what were we talking about? Yeah, so Cracker Milk was good. <laughs> we had fun. Honestly, yeah, it was, it was so fun. fun being on a set. And yeah, I really feel like um, it's going to be an amazing episode. I think it's going to be like 20 to 30 minutes long, Connor was saying. So it's going to be fucking big, long Cracker Milk sketch. If you haven't checked them out, go and have a look. They do sketch comedy. It's very funny too. It is very yeah, Lockie well was in it too Yeah, yeah Lockie's Lock in it And we lied to him heaps Yeah, yeah. so well done Cracker Milk um, Fucking very amazing It was a fun night Just week. hanging out with like Yeah, it's just good Nice just to, to be on set yeah, We want to make a funny video the nights. You guys were Dude, there Yeah, I, was, I, was, I wish you were there too was Marty was ripping fun. farts The night I wasn't here yeah, in apparently. front of random people Yeah, yeah Complete oh, strangers nice. all, the, all the crew and cast Was just fighting as loudly as I could It was fucking hilarious, man Not on my night here alone though I didn't do it then yeah, it would be too scary I got by yourself. <laughs> I got shy and no, went outside. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to say, some of the performing I saw of your acting was so funny. Oh, thank you. Dude. It was yeah, very you good. were very good, Mark. I didn't get to see you, the one that you saw. You said it was really good, but your like, little sniffing scenario you did. Mm, I think everyone good. did quite well. Everyone, we all kind of... Yeah, and we're on film, and we... I'm, I don't know how Mark was, but I was trying so hard not to... I was biting my cheeks, trying not to move, <laughs> trying not to <laughs> With do With the sniff? The sniff. It was mm, so was... difficult. He's like full channeled like a, an animal. Yeah, I just got lucky that the, the few things, few weird skills I have were all in that Needed, role. Yeah. What Man. was your character? Were you just a no, no, I was just a, an extra thing? there. Yeah, that um, if there was a skill for playing worms, I would have. I've definitely <laughs> won that one. <laughs> Michael Matt died. He, he interrupted a conversation this morning to be like, a guy came up to me and like when he left and he was like. You're really good at worms, man. <laughs> Tom, Tom did. He he came up and he's like, dude, you yeah, are unbelievable. I warned them not to say that to him. And yeah. yeah. Just strokes his I am. His worm I head. Am very good at it. Head. Anyway, fucking King let's get into some sponsors, eh? Uh, hanging upside like down. Hanging upside down. AG1, everyone. This is something we all have every day, literally. All of us have it every day now. It's part of our daily routine, and no. it helps us no. feel healthy. There's 75 vital nutrients and minerals in there. It's all GMO-free. It's dairy-free. It's vegan. It's fucking healthy as shit. The guy who invented it is like some scientist guy who got really sick, was on all this medication. He started taking AG1, and all his medication's gone now. He doesn't need it anymore. He's super healthy now. It's super healthy shit. You pay a monthly subscription to drop it off at your front door, and you put a powder put a glass put a serving in a glass and put some water in and shake it around and then you got some AG1 bitch use our discount code fully actual um, AG1 fully actual get a free travel pack everyone link is in the description get around that shit if you're si if you don't want to die yet do you want to die some people do but I reckon if you want to die don't worry about it but if you're one of those few people who wants to stay alive go to AG1 and get that shit down your throat quickly because there's things going on in your body that you can't control drink it too though if you want to die because it might make you feel better and then you'll feel better and you won't yeah. want to die yeah that's true yeah if you do want to if you do don't want to live go to get AG1 too it'll put the life back in you hanging hanging oh, yeah. up for me it has come wow. for me it's been like an antidepressant but that's not like scientific but for me from my opinion i'm saying that it is there's no mm. you're not there's no factual science behind that and you no factual no science but that's just my opinion I so that's yeah ag1 might not say that but i'm, I'm saying it's like an antidepressant it makes your dick bigger 
That's the, that's the effect for you. If that's your truth, then and that's your whole what water. <clears throat> what, what about for you? I can run 100 meters in under 12 seconds. Bullshit. After he has, I've, I've seen it. I've, see, I've seen it. After yep. he drinks AG1. You could too, I reckon. Wow, You're cool. pretty fast these after days. After he drinks AG1, it's true. Um, what Matt? about what's it do for you, Matt? <laughs> oh, it's given him costume building skills. Yeah, true. It's yeah, improved. Become- uh, think about it. It's improved out of sight since you started drinking AG1. Uh, yeah. That is true. Yeah. Uh, it's James, made you more creative. James is not fucking around. Like he has, it has improved. Matt's, since Matt's costume selection is his only creative outlet every week and he puts <laughs> his whole heart and soul into it now. Oh, that and planning how to fire people at his work. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that really creatively. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will say that it um my shits have been so nice oh yeah green like the what do they call that your bowels my bowel movements oh, are very beautiful okay. now that's nice okay. yeah ag1 no, no i was i was gonna go back to you firing people but maybe later <laughs> um <laughs> imagine if he just he was in a chair and he turns around and he's wearing glasses and a suit and he tells them to pick a hand <laughs> pick a hand <laughs> left or right he's mad. And, then the, and then one end it just says you're fired <laughs> and then the other one it says you're fired <laughs> as well <laughs> so he opens one yes. shows him that, and then as they as they start getting up and laughing he shows them the other one but they're definitely fired no matter what <laughs> oh man, I would watch that. I would actually watch that. It'd be a that. good show. Yeah, that was better than Matt the one I Firing shit. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, God. Please, please record the next one secretly for us. Oh, I can't. All right. Yes. All right. Um, and of course, Manscaped, man. We've, we're getting a lot of um, DMs from um, a lot of people that watch the podcast telling us about how hard their lives are. Um, and I just want you to know that um, we don't f- care. Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual 20 to improve your life. You have the way to make your life better. Use it. Manscaped.com. They will make your life better. Stop your f- whinging. Stop DMing us about how sad you are and go to Manscaped and fix your sh- your hairy, fluffy sh- Shave it off and f***ing fix it. You smell better, you f***ing look better, you f***ing harder, and you love longer. F***ing go to Manscaped and f***ing hard. F***ing hard and strong and really steel bone up them. Manscaped. Shave your f***ing balls so they slide in deep. <laughs> we don't cry, we supply. Ow. Also for women. <laughs> Brazilian ones. Link in description. Perfect Christmas present for your sisters. <laughs> um, and then you've got the, the beautiful, beautiful University of Markle. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. So um, we just posted a video. Oh, this is, oh, this is yeah. a couple of weeks ago. I don't know what's coming out right now, but the one just posted is um, oh. do condoms really oh, protect? Yeah. And man. There is a scene in there that was like, I'm one of those scenes where I'm truly ashamed. Like I was like, this is, no. oh man. No, it was, incredible science. It needed to be tested and you tested it thoroughly. Like we're spraying, like, uh, yeah, I can't even. I'm curious well, enough it, it works. It sort of is science because we're literally yeah, but finding like, that's out just if so condoms work. Just You're spraying testing them shit to the into the maximum durability. Yeah. It got very, very scat, but fuck it. Shh. Sorry. Yeah, so fucked. But anyway, there's a free 21 day f- trial. Link is in the description. We got two other content creators who also post weekly on there. There's like fucking three thousand billion hours of content on there now. I think. So have a look, and if you don't like it, you can cancel before the 21 day free trial. It's still free, man. Matt's not a member. Yeah, so he doesn't support. Up. He doesn't support. Oh, I've got the scenario of the century. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. That's the title of the podcast, I have a scenario. Scenario of the century. It's a Matt Brown exclusive, though. Hang. All right. Make it good. Would you give up all of your fucking stupid kids' toys? What are they called again? Cards. 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 Oh, yeah, those things. And Sorry, stickers. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Just you can Just keep your stickers. You got to get rid of those weird pictures that... Anyway. Now... <laughs> This is making that scenario we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. For right now, I would give you for all your cards. How much? $750. <laughs> no. 
No. They're worth more. Uh, what I are they worth? 1500 or something? No. There's, they're, anyway. Give me <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you 1200 bucks. I'm a bit offended. I want... Five, I reckon you'll say five. Yeah, five grand might dissuade me to give not, up. Okay, so you right now, right now, here, right now, not two, like two can, two cup, like two, two grand. Five K. So if Michael got five K right now and gave it to you, you would burn your whole collection. Oh, I could be pretty no, depressing. What about two K? I reckon you would. There's, there's, if there's you had really? the cash. I've got about three cards that are probably worth more than five K. He's too impulsive. I reckon he'd take it. But I, I might take the five K. You wouldn't oh, take two. You fresh wouldn't take two K right me. now. Like just. Bang, 2K in your hand. I get to fuck your cards up. It's also just the annoyance of, like, because I'm trying to think of something. You're never going to put them on eBay to sell them. Bad for me. Like, if Michael came into my house and wanted to burn my whole cactus garden, all the plants in my house, I'd probably be able to replace it all for five grand, but I'm like, damn, that's so much effort. So, no, fuck that. That's different. Like, that's a lot of effort. Yeah, but think about You've got the yeah, 2K true. cash in your hand right now. You're never, ever going to go online and <laughs> go on eBay, money. start an account and go, I'm going to sell this card for 75 cents and this card for $3 and this card for $50 <laughs> and this card for $1,000. You will never do that. I'll give you two grand right now and you can get rid of those fucking stupid things. I want six now. All right. I'll back offended off. me. I'll back off. <laughs> I'll back off. Oh, <laughs> see how gate just fly open then? There's a ghost. Oh, 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 anyway, guys, we're going to have a very quick <laughs> and hard and ferocious bong break, and we'll be right back with Matt vs. Michael and Matt's S- Tinder Adventures. Suck bitch. it in deep. <laughs> Hanging upside. And we're back. <laughs> all right, I guys. Was, was, uh, it's currently hands. 16 all. Wow. Matt vs. Michael. Hit Holy it, Brown. Holy shit. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yeah. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. What? Yeah. What? Come, come, come have fun. <laughs> come, come, come. Oh, oh what's the <laughs> come? Come have fun. Come have fun. <laughs> come have fun today. Bottle of come. Oh. I'm all right at 16. All the winner of this segment will get to keep the prize bottle of Matt's mint and do with it whatever they want in the season finale. And oh, they've given me some suggestions, both of them, and none of them are good. Yeah, if you're coming to the live show, you get to watch that live and smell that oh, live. Oh, my God. I'm really afraid of what that could do. Yeah, so am I. We should really plan the timing of that. Yeah, we've got to be like plan for people to pass out and vomit and we should put thick some plastic tarping. <laughs> Oh, oh, thick. oh, Might burn through it. We don't know. And mattresses everywhere. Anyway, 16 all currently. It's in there. How we the do hell? a... I test their physical, emotional, spiritual strength every single week. Their intelligence, everything is tested here, okay? To find out who is truly is the better man. And oh. 16 all right now. Do you know what Connor was doing? The whole cracker milk shoot. There was, I don't know, how many people here? Uh, three mil, uh, probably three thirty. 30. <laughs> okay, so so maybe maybe thirty people over the over the weekend. <laughs> it's like three million. million like people. just really bad at <laughs> estimating. <laughs> he knows exactly what to say to really get under the brown skin. There was three million people. <laughs> He's so he so happy with that. Shit <laughs> He's so happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin my story. <laughs> Go on, mate. No, no, no. no, 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 no tell it I'll <laughs> tell it. I'll tell it then. No, I'm not going to tell it now. So, please. Uh, so, uh, early on, uh, Connor was like, <laughs> he's going to mute everyone. No, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Because it's just me and James now. Hey. I love that I can I mute. I never think about doing it. Oh, he's going to trip on the power now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, Connor's been bringing people into the podcast room the whole weekend and like, you've got to see this so, and oh, showing so that, my combo. So oh. all these people that have never met, never met Matt before in Ever. their lives, he's going, yeah, that guy out there, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is his come while he was coming in here fucking hundreds and of times and everyone's question oh is how God. did you get it in <laughs> yeah. so that was hilarious <laughs> but then what we re- what I found out towards the end of the weekend Matt had to reply with a yeah. funnel um, 
towards the end of the weekend, we started to figure out we show we started showing people the golly bottle. Yeah, and they were more. And we disgusted found out that people that. were more disgusted no. in the golly bottle. Yeah, dude, I held them both up, and everyone was okay with the cum. Hated the golly bottle. Incredible. They're, they're imagine equally the golly, <laughs> yeah. Imagine meeting like, oh, hey, mate, how are you? And then, hey, look at this. This half a bottle of fucking of his liquid is his cum. You'd think differently about you, surely. Uh, yeah. If the that's a bottle. first impression, like that's an, an extreme first impression to get. It's a, yeah, it is. It's a lot to process. Especially for the girls there, I reckon. That'd be yeah. quite alarming. <laughs> Lucky I have a girlfriend. I kept telling everyone it was just one load. <laughs> <laughs> How many times? Yeah. Oh, just once. One really big one. <laughs> Did they believe it? <laughs> no, they usually laughed. Matt said the G word then. Did you guys hear that? Girlfriend. Yeah. He I said, said lucky I have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, said it again. <laughs> 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 Matt slept her house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably lose her after she figures it out. <laughs> oh, no. Well, yeah, but at least she knows you now. So it's like, you know, it's not as yeah, fucked. I, I haven't really mentioned that yet. Well, look, if you win Matt versus Michael, then she'll understand. I can, can give it to her as a gift. Yeah. Oh, oh, to Skull. <laughs> oh, fuck. Moving on. Oh, man. <laughs> what were we All just right. talking I'm about? I'm about to oh, win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About to get ahead. Um, so for for today's Matt versus Michael, we find out who is the better sculptor. They will each have half of this blue tack. Jesus, is gonna be hard. Do we get any tools of that? No. Oh. <laughs> Can we see this paper rock? No. Nah, okay. you, you get what you get. You don't, you don't get, get upset. upset. All right, you each have two minutes. You both go at the same time, and you must mold the best sculpture that you can. Any yeah. any stipulations? No, nah, complete creative freedom. I do we have to? Do they tell us what it is, or do we have to guess? Or they tell us? Whoa, 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 I think, whoa, yeah, 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 stop yeah. that, whoa, whoa, stop whoa, that, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like there needs to be some <laughs> equality here. So either you squish yours back into a ball, or Matt spreads his out like a big fat pancake. Okay, thank you. Don't you fucking do that again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, what were we just saying? Oh yeah, yeah. So just complete creative freedom. I like to not put any boundaries on Matt's How creativity. Much time? Two, two minutes. minutes. <laughs> Fuck, that's a long two minutes. No, 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 man. That's man. Not two minutes long is a long time. I was yeah, in the well. bathroom the other day and I had some blue tack, and I reckon it took me two minutes to make the little dick I stuck on the wall. That's, that's two balls and a tube. Yeah, you know. So, all right, you boys ready? My, James and I will judge on. Wait, on, Michael's gone pancake on, again. Sorry. Michael, sorry. <laughs> on squish artist. it. Hard. No, Michael. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Imagine if his, his was a pancake. Okay. All right. So hang on. What was the... Don't. Yeah, yeah. What so, was the um the so criteria? We judge, we judge on just um what like what we think is the most beautiful. Beautiful. So it has to be beautiful. Beauty. Okay. Okay. Fuck. For me, I'm I'm going to look at more. Marty's going to look for beauty. I'm going to look at realism. So whatever you create, oh, I fuck. want to be... Can't be made up imaginary wacky times cool shit? Um, well, yeah. Like it could be a unicorn because that's not real, but I could still, it can still be realism, you know? Okay. Fuck. This is hard. I'm going, I'm going really <laughs> left wing on this and I'm going to see what happens. All right. Left wing already. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, Matt's gone in so aggressive. This is for the lead, boys. Split it's it 16 half. all. It's fucking close. Matt has this his is much stronger hands than Michael. Like, <laughs> outrageous. Like, look at the thickness of those thumbs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's, he's glancing over at Michael to see what but he's, he's doing. he's rubbing. Look, he's Michael's like, just made the pancake that he had before. And now he's twisting an end of it, and Matt's just rolling a little ball. Matt's doing a little ball, you know, hey? I think Matt might be making a cock. Oh, yeah, cock and balls, yeah. Fuck, that's so weak, Matt. James literally just said that, and that's where you got your idea from. You didn't say you put me down. Why are you putting me down? <laughs> oh, that's fucked. Now he's going against me already. No, because is that true? You're making a dick and balls? Yeah, I was going to do a nice dick. All right, well, let's see how realistic it is, okay? I'll give you a chance. I want to see some veins, though. Oh, give me man, time, mine is yeah, how we going 50 seconds gone. 50 seconds. Uh, give me the time. It's 3.26 p.m. <laughs> One minute down. Allergic. <laughs> That's still just making balls. 
On veins, Matt. Michael oh, is oh, working veins. slightly to his right, which makes me think he's either threatened by Matt seeing his his creation, or he's he needs cheating. the light, or he's, he's in, cheating, or he's cheating somehow. Oh man, if he's making what I think he's making, it looks very good, <laughs> dude. Oh, we got thirty seconds oh, left. I think you might be in big trouble, Brown. Thirty seconds left, boys. Michael's making what I think he's oh. making. Got 30 seconds. Get a close up of that, Matt. The corner. Matt's biting the tip of that cock. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, That's adding a vein. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop your work. I mean, don't hold it. But no more, no more structuring. All right. Yeah. Michael, would you like to explain what you've made? <laughs> All right, since I'm fucking rad and I've been all around the world, when I travelled through Mexico with Henry... I fucking knew it. We oh caught God. an eight-foot sailfish. Well, Henry oh, did. Okay. I lost mine out of the ocean. And it was this big, but eight foot. Wow. And basically, we fed a whole <laughs> village with it. And this is what I, I was like with the fish at the end. I was like holding it, but it was eight foot. So I had to hold up here because I'm foot. only six foot. Yeah. And this is a replica of it. This is actually the fish, I'm pretty sure. That's got a storyline on and everything. It's a piece of the fish itself. Dude, I'll give it to you. That's very good. That's very <laughs> good. Fish. All right, Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> Mine's a dick. Mine's a dick. Oh, it looks oh like an God. elephant. Oh, like an yeah, elephant. No, I Can I just say up. that it is, I'm guaranteed that I've won this one. And I'm, 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 I'm going to brag. Well, I'm going to brag said, before the judges even say, you. I've won. I've won you. this one. <laughs> yes It's fucking 18 You don't even have to judge 17, 18, 17 no, no, 17, I'm, 16 I'm actually 17, trying to be 16. nice to you And say dude That's very good You must have no life To be able to do blue tack like that Man Oh Sa backhanded that compliment <laughs> what, what? Hey Mr. fucking basketball can collector <laughs> now, Tell me Can you just tell me What you thought it was I thought it was going to be an iguana Oh wow I thought iguana. fishes I caught a glimpse of it When you were doing it Anyway, I thought a Pokemon, that water Pokemon. Oh yeah, I can yeah, see I can that. see that too. But I, what was more impressive with the backstory? How fake was the backstory? Oh, that's real. Yeah, that's yeah. He's told good. me about that before. He literally fed a village. That's yeah. cool as shit. Yeah, Michael, you won by fed landslide. A village. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, dude, the fish was eight foot. Yeah, how many people in the village? Three. Three million. <laughs> 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 it was actually a city. Oh, <laughs> you fed a city. I fed a city with my fish. Okay, that's good. Oh, all right. Let's move right along, eh? Let's get into some fucking Tinder adventures, I reckon. Hit it, Brown. T-I-N-D-O, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha, ha, ha. Matthew Brown has lost control. Now these women will lose their souls. <laughs> All right, so this is a segment where we have taken Matt's Tinder and we have we do all the swiping, we do all the DMs in trying to get him a partner. Even though he already has a partner now, we're still just going to get some backups because we know how Matt self-sabotages. <laughs> all right. Hey, Matt, how are you? What's up, my little flower? How was your weekend? I played with my puppets. I'm practicing for my show. My weekend has been good. Shame about the Broncos losing. And puppet show, eh? Lol. At least you're good with your hands, right? <laughs> yeah, I was fucking devastated. Should have seen me. I was fully crying and shit. I DM'd Nathan Cleary and fully told him I would bash him if he ever comes to Brizzy. <laughs> yeah, I do ventriloquil ventriloquilism. I started like two years ago as a hobby and now I do shows for my family. Unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can't I'm mad. She wasn't even that bad. She knows what she wants. <clears throat> All right. So this girl starts a conversation. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm thriving right now. So many opportunities sitting in my lap. It's awesome. How's your day off and shit? <laughs> oh. Yeah, been really good. I was so excited to have a full night's sleep. I work odd hours. Oh, true. What hours do you work? Do you have many cool opportunities coming your way? <laughs> I start at 10 p.m. tonight and usually do 12 plus hour shifts. I love what I do. I kind of made it to where I want to be. Oh, that's so sick. So you're literally living your dream. What do you do? And what if like a super good opportunity presented itself? I feel like you should always be on the lookout for opportunities. I have like three or four opportunities I'm kind of looking at at the moment. Oh, what are they? What do you do? 
Oh. Uh -huh. I've got an email from this crypto guy and he wants to start a website with me. So that's one opportunity. Huh. My second opportunity is that I can start a podcast about making the most of opportunities. So I'm thinking about doing that. Then I got an opportunity at work where they're offering me less hours so I can concentrate on my other opportunities. <laughs> then like a little half opportunity is I've nearly finished signing up as an Uber driver. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. I'm a forklift driver. Oh, sick. Do you always drive for... So did you always want to drive forklifts? So you like have to drive crates and shit around? That's a pretty decent opportunity because you can meet people and network and you can also earn Aww. money. So good work in taking that opportunity. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so much opportunity. And that's an ongoing... Um, oh, that's a <laughs> oh, tough <God>. one. <laughs> All right, another one who starts a conversation with you. So, you know, oh. very keen. Ooh. Hello there, Matt. Yeah. You're a very attractive man with a beautiful smile. How's your public holiday treating you? That's so friendly of you. My pet falcon literally made a sound when I read your message. So she must approve of you already. <laughs> public holiday's so nice. I'm just sitting in aircon with my pet falcon. What are you doing? <laughs> what? No way you have a falcon. I need to see this beautiful lady. I'm chilling in my room with a fan and my mini me attached to my hip, lol. <laughs> yeah, I do. Techn technically, I need a permit to have one in Australia. That's why I don't have any pics of her. But she's my best friend. I've had her for nearly seven years now. Oh, cool. How long have you had your child? I have two. My son is nine and my daughter is five. Do you have any kids? My best friend is my cat, lol. Oh, that's so cool. I bet they love their mommy, don't they? I bet they do. Oh, <laughs> oh no, not a cat. <laughs> Hopefully my falcon doesn't mind your cat. My falcon can kill and car carry fully grown sheep. I've trained it to attack intruders too. Her talons could crush the neck of a burglar easily. My falcon is so beautiful and strong. I love her so much. My falcon is my child and I've hand raised her from when she was an egg. <laughs> my cat is 11 and a half years old As healthy as she looks I don't know if she has long left Do you have Snapchat? Oh true Yeah because if we moved in together I don't know if I could guarantee oh. That my falcon won't go for your cat And <laughs> feast upon its body My falcon comes first in my life She's been through so much with me And I know it's weird But we have a very tight close bond If you earn and respect If you earn the respect of my falcon Then she will protect you Just like she protects me My ex didn't earn her respect And it ended up costing the relationship No sorry I don't use Snapchat I can download it if you want <clears throat> ah, Well my kids And then my cat come first Once my falcon and your kids know each other My falcon will protect them too They could just walk to school And my falcon would follow <laughs> follow them and glide around above them oh. and if anyone came near them my falcon would attack their faces <laughs> it's like having a dog that can fly except way cooler and prettier oh. people automatically respect you if you have a falcon it's weird kind of like a little being a little famous it's crazy <laughs> oh how are your kids with falcons falcon. are you having lunch or something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we have only seen them in the sky yeah, I was having lunch. <laughs> yeah, they're super, super rare and really hard to tame. That's why my falcon always gets so much attention. It's like walking around with a lion. Oh, Same reactions oh, from people. Oh my, my falcon changed my life. What did you have my lunch? <laughs> I just fed my falcon. She had organic raw chicken breast and turkey mints. <laughs> and she hasn't replied to that. <laughs> <laughs> she must be so fucking bored with that conversation. <laughs> just talking yeah. nonstop about your falcon. <laughs> Falcon. Keep going. Please keep going until she asks you to stop talking about your falcon. <laughs> and then I get really offended. Oh, very good. Just constant. Can, can you get it start getting offended already? <laughs> and just be like, you haven't asked me one question about my falcon. Yeah. <laughs> start gaslighting her a bit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anyway. <clears throat> Create friction and get burned. That's how it is. Jeez, how do I respond to that, Lord? <laughs> you did perfectly play with me am i oh. gonna get burnt <laughs> oh. only if you want and then she just randomly replies and goes a few days later and goes only if i want what to get burnt something weird happened with my tinder i can only see from your only if you want comment it was like you disappeared and rematched lol lol what the hell that's so weird we had a full-on conversation last week you don't remember I remember now with the getting burnt comment and your profile saying you're of brown royalty, <laughs> but it's legit like you disappeared and I assumed you unmatched me. If I could send pics, I would show you. 
Yeah, and then we spoke about how your response to that and how how I thought you were really funny. Then you then you were saying you find me really attractive and that you really want to see me without a shirt on. Then I was saying that I'm drawn to you and I think we have a connection and you agreed? That doesn't sound like me, lol, unless you read my mind. Oh my god, I knew this would happen. I literally said to you last week, I bet you will pretend to not remember our conversation next week. <laughs> and you replied with lol what? As if that conversation can as if that conversation can't just disappear. <clears throat> You have ESPN, lol. <laughs> what? I know you're just taking the piss now. If if you don't want if you don't want to talk to me, then just say so. You don't have to pretend like you can't remember our conversation. It's a little condescending. I wasn't being condescending. I was having a bit of a joke around. I'm all for joking around, but I genuinely thought we had a bit of a connection. So it's just a little hard to read that you don't remember our conversation. I told you things that I haven't told anyone for a long time. <laughs> Not my intention, so I apologize if you're offended. I can give you my number and prove to you that the conversation prior to this morning isn't there f for me. No, it's okay, I believe you. Sorry, I'm just feeling a little down and I was looking forward to connecting more with you. Oh. Now it feels like we have to start again. Fuck. There's nothing wrong with starting again. Unless you don't want to, that is. I feel like it's worth it with you. But, oh. do, you, but do you promise you will oh. remember our conversation this time? Even if our conversation gets wiped again? I promise. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, sweet. Create friction and get burnt. I just got burnt cooking lunch. <clears throat> oh, no. Not badly, I hope. I got burnt once. I was fucking hammered and fell onto a campfire. My sister had to drag me out of the flames and I had second degree burns on my chest. Not badly. I was just playing. wasn't paying attention and my fingers brushed the hot pan. I think a lot of people having fa have fallen into drunk into a campfire, <laughs> but also don't wish it upon anyone. That would have been so painful. Yeah, lucky I was so black out at that stage, I don't remember it. But the next day I woke up and my shirt had crusted onto my burnt chest. And I went to pull it off and it ripped my last layer of skin off. It's probably the most pain I've ever been in. Arched back in a school zone. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to hospital? I did that day. I was hoping it would heal itself, but it kept weeping, passing that clear shit. Plus, the pain was super intense. <laughs> they took a skin graft from my ass cheek, and now it's fully healed. Shuffle around and fluff my feathers. I'm teaching. <laughs> Why from the ass? I guess it's just a spot where it doesn't matter if it scars. I didn't really ask. Blades of hot steel <laughs> slice through my environment. My soul is butter. What the <laughs> Blades of hot steel? Yeah, steel forged in the heart of hell and delivered to my front door. I feel the kiss of life as the blade slices through me. Okay. <laughs> it's just a way for me to describe how the second degree burn made me feel. What was it like giving birth? Use descriptive wording. <laughs> Excruciating. I think that's pretty descriptive. Yeah, I bet. Try and describe how it made you feel and really concentrate on the moments you remember. I want to be there with you. Oh. I know it's not the same as actually being there, but at least if you really take me there, I can tell the kids that I know what it was like when you were born. Oh. If we get to that stage where you're ready for me to meet them, of course. In the months of labor, I yearned for the end. Both because I was exhausted, but also because my child would be the result, the prize to my hard work. Oh, the exhaustion. I can feel it in your words. Did you feel the vibrations when they tore you open? Or was that memory oh. suppressed? <laughs> <laughs> no! I did not tear open. Oh, God. I laboured as long as I could before the doctors and midwives decided C-section would be the best option. <laughs> Imagine having to go through labour only to have it end in a C-section. It's disappointing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hectic. Hectic as shit. I can't even imagine being awake as they slice you open and rip a human out from inside of your uterus. Crazy what the human body can take. I'm standing with my feet really wide apart and bobbing up and down to a song. I've got a, I've got a mouth guard in. <laughs> You're awake, but you don't feel anything. Or you shouldn't after having anesthesia injected into your spine. Are you doing that right now? Or do you mean that's what you would have done in that situation? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, she didn't burn. Surely we'd feel your body getting jerked from side to side as they rip a baby out of your guts. Oh yeah, I'm doing it right now. I'm smoking a cigarette too and bobbing up and down to a song of, to the sound of the song. That song, green green grass, blue blue sky song. I can feel my testicles bouncing off my inner thigh. I might need to put some underwear on. 
Oh, no. Yes, yes, I felt it, but there was no pain. Just like a slight push-pull kind of feeling. It's too hot for underwear. You keep bobbing, lol. I'm picturing a farmer ripping a calf from a, out of from one of his cows. Is that how it was? How hard... How it's hard at first, but then it just kind of gives way and the baby slides out with ease, covered in placenta and blood and shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting into it. This song just makes my body and takes my body and moves it. I'm, I'm looking from side to side really fast. It hurts my neck and it's kind of making me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I've seen a farmer rip a calf from one of his cows. I'm on the couch watching, watching, with Netflix. I'm stretching my mouth open as far as I can. The neighbors know not to look at me. Is this normal for you? Or have you had a few drinks? On my days off, I like to party. So yeah, I've had half a bottle of rum. Or like a third or some shit. <clears throat> I can feel my throat burning. It's the limited edition Darren Lockyer rum. <laughs> and that's an ongoing conversation. No. Outstanding. That was fucking class. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, fucking hell. Did you like that, Matt? What are you for Klein here? He's distracted by movement out in the distance. It poses a threat to his safety. There's two men up the top of the driveway, but they're, they're crossing the road to the other side. You can discard that situation now, Matt. You can relax. Your you safety is maintained. Breathe out. You're holding in anxiety into gone. your lungs. Breathe out fully. Imagine oh. if they just got wiped out by a semi-trailer right now. Man, that was fucking... That was a good time, that Tinder thing. Yeah, that was <laughs> so good, Matt. Holy fucking shit. Right. Bobbing with a mouth guard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> she didn't even address the mouth guard. If she let that one go. It'd be so insane to do that on your own where you're just messaging on Tinder. It's anyway. incredible what these girls will tolerate read and then continue a conversation i think they i think Dude, they it's read sad. it's kind of and sad yeah, because it it's like it's sad. like they like the attention even though they can see how clearly damaged this person is yeah i think they just forget like they there's so much to read and take in that they kind of forget some things or maybe so they you, think she did say no maybe it was a different one maybe they think like you're just actually mucking about and having a laugh and you some, go, yeah, some of them yeah do. some of them just like the the entertainment value or they could just think that you've got like something wrong with you 100% alright so she starts this conversation hey uh what's up baby what did you have for breakfast <laughs> random but coffee and a bacon and egg English muffins mm, that's so good did you put butter on the muffin did you have any sauce or anything I had like five pancakes a large glass of milk three sausages two hash browns oh, and some cereal man. fruit loops what are you doing today have you got a pool a little a little bit <laughs> barbecue sauce of course no pool did all day yesterday at the beach yesterday so chill day today doing mum life stuff how about you oh yeah I love barbecue sauce what brand did you get <clears throat> the sausages I had are like 30 centimeters long and they're from this butcher I go to he fully knows my name <laughs> he's become one of my best friends today I'm styling my house <laughs> I need to restyle it I'm not feeling a good vibe anymore Oh, yeah, very nice. What style are you going for? That's a very large oh, sausage. Great question. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like the long ones have so much more flavor because I have to make them by hand. The quality of flesh in them is second to none. They're super moist and tender, and the little piece of garlic in them and the hint of chili. I'll cook them on a high heat, and they just go off at parties. I'm going for a cowboy slash space <laughs> theme style. So, like, wooden pieces of furniture with steel trimmings and, like, robot pieces and shit. <laughs> Must be, have, must be must be lunchtime now. What are you going to have for lunch? I have no idea. I'm just putting my phone in to be fixed. Oh, damn. So we won't be able to chat? I was going to say, I'm having some French toast and marmalade, <laughs> a liter of Coke, four roasted butternut pumpkin balls, some ham off the bone in a French baguette, and a bowl of homemade fries. <laughs> I made a, uh, I made, oh, I made mayonnaise as well, and, and put that shit on everything. <laughs> it's so much better than homemade than the stuff from the store. Oh, that's a lot of food. I have it back now. My lens on my camera smashed. Haha, <laughs> being ugly do does that. Haha. <laughs> do not speak about yourself like that. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. And you are no different. You need to love yourself. Promise me you will work on that. Oh, fuck. It means a lot to me if you could do that. But yeah, I might have a little snack. There's some fruit roll-ups in my pantry. Do you remember them? <laughs> They're so fucking good. Remember they used to say there was fruit in the roll-ups? <laughs> All bullshit. <laughs> oh, oh she hasn't replied and that's ongoing yeah. wow man. Yeah. I think more, that last one like. would have fucking definitely scared her <laughs> off if she comes back at that then fuck alright that'll do I think that's yeah. sorry very good sorry let's leave it there and that everyone 
is Matt Brown's Tinder Adventures. Hanging upside down. Watch the broken clown. His name is Matthew Brown. And he's hanging upside down. I would love to see Matt hanging upside down. So would I, dude. I'd, like, with that face, I would love that. And his arms yeah. are floppy and loose. Would you hang upside down for half an hour for one and a half K? Oh, yeah. Yeah, done. But oh, you can't have a rest. Hour. Fucking pussy. Stop dude, saying shit. Dude, if you're do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not it's a website make. video. G- give me a shake hands. Half an hour's not long. Really That's, dude, he will, dude, he will struggle sh- so half hard. Half an hour? What? Like, oh, my God. I would Agreed. On him. Agreed. No, he ruined it. It's over now. Oh, fuck. That's what man. you do to me. I go, yeah, let's do it. And you go, oh, I don't know about it. Yeah, you give him a scenario if he accepts you. All right. God. You're dude, on. that would be, he'd no, never be able to do it. There's no way in hell. $1,200. Hang upside down for 40 minutes. No, oh, so you've changed the rules. No, stay half an hour. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to see what his, what his limit is. <laughs> Give him less you money want, but longer time. You want him to say no? You want to hear it out of his mouth? <laughs> I was hanging hang, upside down. Da, 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 da. Hanging. All right, let's move right along. Um, let's get some fucking questions done, you fucking pigs. Oh, it's fucking hit it, Brown. You have all the questions, and we have all the answers, and we've got lots of dances for you. If you want us to answer your question, please leave a comment on the Mighty Michael Full Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. Once you've commented your question, have a scroll through and like any of the questions that you would like us to answer. And remember, we are two weeks behind. So if you go, oh, my question was the most like, why didn't they fucking ask it, uh, answer it this week? It's because we are two weeks behind. Fuck. So see? you have to come back in two weeks to see if we answered it. Hit it, Brown. Oh, a question from uh, uh, Top question. Ha- you, 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 you. Hanging upside down. Uh, all the, all, all the- <laughs> and that's question time. <laughs> it's the broken clown. His name is today. His na- <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do clown. look a bit like a broken clown, actually. It's like change. Shattered career. dreams, yeah. Decided, no, fuck it, actually. I'll be a cowboy. Yeah, well, like, s- substance has gotten the weight, and he was a, cl- he was a <laughs> party clown. <for> children. <laughs> Imagine if that was his real hair. That would be so <laughs> fucked. I would love if that was your real hair, dude. <laughs> All right, you get that super glued and you have to wear that for three months, but you get $10,000. I would do that. 100%. Super glue, and you can't ever take it off once. Can he tie it up? Yeah. Will yeah, the yeah. shower ruin it? No, well, no, we'll super glue it on there. With. Well, if it comes off in the shower, then. You'll have to glue it back on straight oh, yeah. away. That's what I mean, like you can glue it back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah surely, because he can't help it coming off. It yeah. won't come off because he's super glued it yeah, on. Super glue, super glue, glue will last forever. It'll go away after a bit. Oh, really? I think yeah. so. In water, yeah. Dumb fuck. Oh, uh, well, fuck, I reckon. Oh, man. You can... Actually, no, that's a good point. After what, I went, <laughs> after what I went through with the TV. Hanging. Can I just say that earlier we played Worms? He had eight worms, I had four worms, and I destroyed him. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I even said you can have $20 if you win, and he refused to do the bet. I'm not dumb like some. Anyway, number nine. <laughs> that was a poem. All, All right. right. First question is from is no, it Gyrex. Is, yeah. I can never say his name right. Um, would you guys bring back the stunt segment uh, on the podcast? Oh, on his yeah. crazy laugh that made Michael almost die laughing. Um, so yeah, would you bring back stunt time? That was the um, the We're, highest liked. Oh, it's wow, much. people really like stunt time. It's hard to think of has. stunts that you can well, sort of do in a podcast setting. Remember we used to do them just during the Q and A. Early days, we used to yeah, do a little game on, or something. on the table or something. And we just make, make one up. There yeah. and then. It's hard to think of them though, because like think of a stunt that we could well, do the, sitting here. That we right haven't now. already done. We yeah. are like, yeah, man, it's hard to think of new shit. And science experiments is, means Mark had to do work. Oh, well, I, yeah, I am a, sci- a qualified scientist. Yes, yeah. I run yeah. a university. Built a career. <laughs> so, what was the answer to that? Yes or no? Look, if you guys send in some stunt ideas, comment your stunt suggestions. Yeah. Then we'll have a look at them. Nothing too fucked, please. Yeah. Yeah, 
YouTube. Hang. It has to be able to be put on YouTube or we get for clients. Yeah. So and done in a podcast environment. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere where we're sitting. Upside down. I was, I was, I was, I was <laughs> hanging upside down. Next question is from Lake McBogan. Um, I'm Jono. Jono. I'm Jono. I'm Jono. Um, would you rather lay in a bathtub of snakes or would you rather let a massive huntsman crawl across your body and face? Huntsman. Easy. 100%. Yeah, I'd probably go the Huntsman. Yeah, Although they the bite them, they're too. big fuckers, aren't they? Also Very depends rarely, on though. the kind of snake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, if you really just, chill if, little pythons trained and stuff. If, cool. if you're in the bathtub and they just put the ones on you that they use like on TV and shit. It's just not don't, too bad. I'd probably prefer move. that if they were tamed, chilled pythons. But if they were like death adders or something, get fucked. No fucking yeah, way yeah. of getting in that bathtub. Tell no, you that much for free. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next question is from CWB4280. Uh, will the Paul Brown ever get a date? I got one and she's my girlfriend. Hell yeah. He said the G word again. Oh, hell yeah. <sighs> Hanging. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait to meet, meet yeah. girlfriend. When are you going to introduce her to them? I don't know. Whenever. You, you don't, don't act like you haven't thought about that well, I try deeply. Ask, oh, no, not really. I said come over to the... the she didn't. And she, oh, she was just tired. She, she was I'm going to shake his hand firmly. Hey, mate, Matt, Michael, we've, we've worked on her. Oh uh-huh. shit! Yeah, so. that's all right. Hanging, hang, hang, hang. Yep. <laughs> Upset. Broken clown. Uh, next one is from Cody Northcott. Uh, why didn't you guys set up a Big Brother style cameras for the Bucks parties? That would have been epic. Because, um, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, we just, we've spoken like, about it before. We, we, you know, it's not just a lot of our friends aren't used to being on camera. They're like normal people with normal jobs. And it's just you're ve- people aren't used to being on camera, very aware of cameras. So it just kind of stunts the relaxation. Not everyone can just be yourself if you can see that it's a camera on you, you know? Yeah, even the people who do film for a living, like it just be like, ah. Oh. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it reduces the fun. It, it kind of turns it into from a fun thing into like a work thing. Yeah. And then you guys can't relax either, can you? Do you yeah, not you as much. There's a camera. Not much happens on ketamine either. <laughs> it's just all of us lying around saying random words. Then we giggle at it. Ah, that's funny. Matt loves what it. What was said, man? Who? What, what happened? Yeah, that is literally what happened. And literally then Brown just like. sits there going, I fucking hate this. Yeah. Did you, you didn't do ket? No. All right, here's a scenario. Here's a scenario. Would you do a big bumper cat no. so you K-hole? No. But you get... Where do I mute him? 5K. Oh, sorry. 5K to K-hole. 5K to K-hole. <laughs> 5K to K-hole. 5K to K-hole. 5K to K-hole. 5K... No. You um, wouldn't know I go. Why? It's 5K. I don't want to do it. Why Ten- didn't you respect me? Okay, 10K. 10K, I'll give you 10K to K-hole. <laughs> No. You uh, would not do that for te- it lasts like ten minutes. No. Yeah, that's a grand a minute by oh my, my calculations. God, it would be scary then knowing you're trying to K hole. Yeah, that yeah, would be. Yeah, yeah but you know worse. it's gonna pass. It's even worse that you're attempting to K hole. <laughs> like no. If it happens accidentally, I feel like that's that's you know, that's survivable. But when you're really pushing <laughs> to make it happen. I don't Dude, know. you'll be fine. It's ten K. Just try it, bro. Yeah. Fuck. I really would love to... That would be a website video. Point of math Matt, you do. Getting, K-holing the brown. Yeah, K-holing the brown for 10K. A brown K-hole. Oh. Consider it. A brown <laughs> hole. Okay. You, you wouldn't pay him 10K, actually. No, well, I, I think he wouldn't do it for 10K. I, I can't he believe... Pay me. Unless he's trying to get his bar, his numbers up, he's doing a good job. He doubled it like that. 5K oh, I would Michael have done Michael wins the lottery one day. You know, he buys a ticket all the time. Yeah, because he will play. throw so many fucking scenarios at you. You yeah. can make a bunch of money. Yeah, you get some we cash could, behind it. It'd be you. great content all the time because it'd just get you guys to do oh, obscure it'd be, like, it'd be like a fucked up Mr. Beast. Like, um, just doing yeah. weird shit. Oh, that would just be Just demeaning nice. Matt. I would watch the hell out <laughs> of that. Just like walk oh, through man. the streets as a dress as a woman and shit. Oh, yeah. Next question is from Peter Hunt. Um, Marty, yeah. do you have any uh, long neck suggestions? If somebody wanted to stretch their neck so they could have a long neck, what would you suggest? Rings. Put rings around your neck and slowly stretch it out. I learned that off um, African culture. The um, women there, they put rings around their neck and it slowly stretches them out and then they put another ring in there. So I use rings. Thank you. Did you know if you take those rings off, the head would just flop to the side, stretched out. Have vertebrae. you seen those people who hang by their heads? 
Not oh. like that, but like, you know, like they, they, they literally attach like this harnessy thing and they cross their legs like they're meditating and they are just hanging by their neck. Whoa. I saw it on a YouTube video the other day. I was like, what? They're stretching it out or something. They, it must be like really good for your back, feel really wow. nice for your back. I really want to see Matt Brown hang upside down. Yeah, I think we should. Ken yeah. Brown what hang upside down. I was hanging what upside was it? down. $1,500 half an hour. Yeah, dude, that's, that's brilliant. That's a website video. Yeah. Dude, one thousand five hundred dollars. You can take a day off work and make that much money. Does he get it if he fails? No, no. Yeah, okay. That's the last for half an hour. Does he? What if? We'll give him a compensation what fee if of one hundred and fifty dollars. We do the maths and we work out how many per minute he is earning. You know, to get the to get no, the. It's half an hour. Like, I, I, like I want to see him in like he'll be happy with like hundred dollars. So he'll yeah. he'll go to then and then get off. Okay. It's nothing. Well, we should have different increments. You should get, guess like a couple of hundred if oh, you it gets to get a certain ten, point. Right. First 10 minutes. You get a grand, yeah. minutes, grand if you get to minutes. 20. Yeah. No, 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 fuck. We go 100 bucks every, for 10 minutes, 200 bucks for 20, 1,500 for 30. He'll stop at 10 minutes. I, I know him. For 100 bucks. I was hanging gets, upside down. Gets, it can't be that bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, I, it'll get, I, I feel like it. it'll get very uncomfortable after about 15 minutes. The first so the first feel reward, really heavy and hot. The first reward can't be until deep into the 30 minutes. Otherwise, yeah, you'll just stop immediately. Yeah, yeah. You could do it. It's all in your brain. That man in that cave, remember, that went down that cave and got caught down there? He was upside down for like 36 hours before he died. Hanging Whoa. upside down. Died. Yeah, he died. Yeah, they couldn't get him out. He's still in there. Really? Whoa. Still in that cave. Fuck, wow. that is have you guys you not seen that that Mr. Um, Mr. Balance? Yeah, yeah, so so it, it, it gave me like die. full blown anxiety. Oh, that. Holy horrible. shit, it's a terrifying thought. I Next like question it. is from Duncan Stone. Um, uh, after hearing Matt's diary entries and Black Book, how did you guys domesticate Matt Brown to be such a well behaved behemoth? Um, we hung him upside down. <laughs> no, we he, Matt just kind of grew out of it, and I think he just realized that the devastation his way of life was causing and because you know me michael james all have uh similar values i think we kind of had that influence on him and he realized it was wrong to do what he was doing James, stop me from smoking anyway hmm. he's yeah <laughs> or you still do it under the cover of darkness and we don't know one time you had a cigarette with me when i don't know <laughs> <laughs> right um all right, two more questions. Um, uh, uh, the next one is from Gisaz. Gisaz? Depending where they're from. from. Um, who would Brown rather be stuck on a desert island with Marty or Michael? This, I really, I read this earlier and I've been thinking about it a long time. <laughs> and <laughs> it would have to be Michael. Oh, really? Yeah. If you cho- you'd be way more better off surviving I just think I could... I just think I could control you'd, you. You'd eat me. And I'd eat you. Maybe. Or I'd make control you my slave you? worker. You Marty would be tough. And Marty would play with me a lot in the diet. And I just couldn't deal with it. Yeah, well, I guess it wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't use you sexually. I'd use I'd probably, you sexually. I'd probably, like... <laughs> I'd throw out a few scenarios at you. And <laughs> oh, if fuck, there no, was a worm funny. set up, we'd probably be playing worms. <laughs> All right, final question. <laughs> this probably island. leads into the next thing. Um, it's from AJ Spence. Um, can you guys make Tales of Bethlehem a more recurring segment? Love hearing the stories. Yes. Yes, we can. And that is the end of the questions, which, funnily enough, leads into... I've got a Tales of Bethlehem. Hanging upside down. <laughs> Should we record that? That was very beautiful. No, it wasn't. Sorry. Sorry. That was shit. There needs to be a jingle though for Tales of Bethlehem. Yeah. It needs to sound really like Christmassy and I'm imagining like Aladdin three. Oh yeah, no, I can see that. Oh, I come from a land and a far away place. I'm picturing Jesus on the cross. Yeah, we could get Bible Licky. Thank you. Alright, so Tales of Bethlehem is an old story. And today we speak of what story was it? We got be? a couple. Do we? Yeah. Should we go with the, the, the mutilation one first? Oh, holy oh, shit. Wow. It's hard to discuss. What's the mutilation one again? See, uh, I don't know the full of story mine. of this, so this is me hearing this I first. know it is pretty intense. So I'm pretty what are the excited. We were going to talk about the Ellie Beach. Night. Ellie Beach trip. Okay. Oh, we like yeah, Us yeah. three were at. Michael wasn't there, but he does know the and story the very well. One? The third one, sorry? I'm glad. Is I there was, a third one? No, I'm glad I wasn't there for the Ellie I can do Ellie Beach first, get out of the way, because the second... the. Yeah. This is like this is oh. the peak of when you wake up after a big night and you go, "What the f- happened?" <laughs> so me, James, Matt, and Luke went on a f- road trip on, on like New Year's Day one year, 
and we just had no for like three weeks yeah well, there was no oh, like plan we we're just like oh let's just drive for an undisclosed amount of time we had, didn't know where we were sleeping we just f***ing drove it was like one of the best holidays oh, it was so much fun and we just stopped we were like oh we'll camp along the way but ended up staying in motels most of the night <laughs> <laughs> and oh man anyway we get to f***ing early and we're f***ing keen for a f***ing big night some of James's f***ing teacher mates are there oh. and we're just f***ing keen to get f***ing on it so we f***ing started we literally beer bonged an entire oh, carton yeah. oh yeah before and we vodka. went out yeah oh remember we were pouring vodka shots of vodka and beer through a funnel through like a cut water bottle and drinking it through that too. I had fast rums. We could. Yeah. so literally yeah, before it's we the went fastest out fastest i've ever had drinks in my uh, entire let life let me explain let me explain this beer bong so the boys i don't know who came up with the luke came up with this beer bong contraption I think where it's he known. just I think it was a bottle yeah dude. really yeah. I've never seen it before so. yeah, no, yeah. basically it just, just cuts a bottle in half and that's it you just pour it straight yeah you in. block the, the hole with your mouth and you pour the drink in and then you just you just open your mouth and it just yeah so like a like so a coke fast. bottle a 1.25 liter coke you cut the ass off it and you, that's where you pour the drink in and then you just let it fly you can you drink as it. you pour but I like to pour it in and let the foam settle a bit and then just smash because <laughs> then there's that weight to it there's yeah. fucking weight to it as it rushes down your throat yeah. but anyway we're absolutely fucked by we the were time out we're, of control before we even dude, went anywhere I barely remember even just before we went there to, to the bar which was like the bar was at the place we were staying. <laughs> yeah. Oh and no! It was apparent as soon as we got there that we were about eighty <laughs> times drunker than anyone in the it's entire like, place. Maybe like seven or eight p.m. or something, and like there was like oh. this guy singing, and I have vague memories of just fucking no. There was no one on the <laughs> dance floor. Just vague memories of like. Like being the only one up dancing, just so disgusting and turning around and there's just a sea of iPhones oh, filming. Yeah. And then like starting we back to the table, throwing drinks at the, dude, oh, at the dude, guy. Before that though, because he was singing, you know that song that's like, adi, 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 that song. Oh, yeah. and, like, and it's like a call and response. So like the audience were like singing along. Once we caught onto that song, every time it was the response section, we would all just scream like, ah, as loudly as we could. It kind of ruined the whole thing. The singer actually loved it. He was like having a good laugh, and that's when Marty started dancing. And yeah, I, I feel like I think you were dancing with a drink, and you dropped your drink, and then I, I think that just sort of brought out the little devil within us all, yeah. and we just wanted to just like, and we just started like throwing our glasses around yeah. the place. But before that, actually, because that's when we got well, kicked wasn't out. it at the musician? Yeah, it's yeah. Close someone threw one at the musician. I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it didn't I did. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was me, but it didn't hit him, <sighs> and no one. That uh, like hit it well. <laughs> oh my god! But like everyone had their thing that night. Marty was, was like dancing like an absolute psychopath, and Luke <laughs> Luke just decided that the bathrooms were too far away. So he just, whenever he needed to piss, he would just stay at the table we were at and just slide his massive dick out of the side of his shorts and just piss, piss straight the onto the floor. Yeah. That and horrified <laughs> your friends. Too. Yeah, yeah. These are my uni mates. Yeah, so you like James pretty, they're good mates. dudes, but man, never, they're a lot more was chill. Was that the than first time we met? them before right yeah i think you'd i don't think we'd i don't think you'd met swayze before yeah a like, lot of them potentially not Damo a lot of either. them we hadn't met and they're like you know they're tame normal people and we were just so <laughs> beyond fucked and obnoxious <laughs> and like you could tell that they wanted to kick me out but but the, they didn't want the the security didn't want to come and get me and escort me out because he knew because the crowd really oh, liked yeah. us so he kept calling me over he's like just come here mate just come here calling me to the edge of like right next to the exit and i was like no no I just kept denying it for a while and then eventually went over and as soon as I went over of course he fucking kicks me out Straight me out. on my own out and the boys are all inside I'm like for fuck's sake and yeah. then I don't even know who I went with. I, I just went, went off on my uni own. boys. Yeah, I went with the uni boys. Uh, you dis you disappeared and found you couldn't. F oh, so there's a, there was a guy with us at the at at our room beforehand, having a few pre drinks with us, and didn't know what he's getting into. And he had told us like this really sob story, and so we left him. And he found you outside, and you got stuck with him. And then yeah. you, and then you bailed from him and you came and met us at the bar. Yeah, and I was looking for James and Luke like all night and I couldn't yeah. find them. They weren't answering their phones and like Matt was just fucking with the, I was uni, with people. the uni people. And I was just like desperately trying to find because I just wanted to like party on, but just couldn't find them. And then it just defeated. I, I just remember went you to walked bed in like and I got stuck oh. with that fucking dude. And then you was ordered a yeah, drink me and, and him, started drinking. Me and him went to some fucking different <laughs> bars and shit. And then it was like 2 a.m. and I was like, fuck it, I can't find the boys. I'm going home. Oh, man. I, I have a memory I have like two memories 
The first one was every time Matt would come back to the table, he'd, he was drinking. I thought you were drinking. I was rums drinking or Bundy rums in cans. Yeah, and I just had this obsession with a knife. It's a great thing. Try it on your friends. But I would as soon as he'd put his can down and take his hand away from it, I'd just clap either side of it as hard as I could. So I'm just like, yeah, Exploded fountain of alcohol. Everywhere. I bought you more though. I remember. Yeah, no, it became a funny it. thing. And then I'd do it to the one I just bought. But I, I remember, <laughs> I remember um, our friend Cam, one of the uni boys, is just like, oh man, what's going on? I was getting yeah, everywhere. Been oh, hating that cupboard. The first one was funny, but then it just got too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's and then my second again. memory, and this one is the cringiest for me because I remember just sort of like coming to, <laughs> and I was just spewing through <laughs> like the the you know on a, the side of a bridge how they have like the metal the, the steel railings. Holes. Yeah. I was like spewing through that. <laughs> I, I didn't remember where the bridge was, and I realized the next day that that bridge. There's two headlands at Airly Beach. <laughs> this was the only small footbridge that connected those two. <laughs> Like, so people so many just people. been walking past me and I'm just lying on my side <laughs> just spewing through and, and Luke, you and Luke ocean. lost each other too dude so. I, I came home with one thong <laughs> and my shirt was gone oh. like What's the best part about your shirt? <laughs> no way. Let's oh, yeah. keep. Let's yeah. continue. Yeah. 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 So, so, so even James, like, so I went out oh. with this fucking random dude because I got kicked out, and then James and Luke shortly after, you guys got kicked out too, right? Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, and then you guys went off on your own, but you guys both blacked out like the same we time. Said, like we quickly said, we would have looked like zombies. <laughs> like we just wouldn't have been making any <laughs> sense. So like, they both the passed out away from each other. That's oh. why they weren't answering my calls. They were both just fucking passed out somewhere on a bridge, and Luke, God knows. <laughs> Where. Yeah, and then I just where Luke ended up. And then they both ended up home. And then I just remember in the morning waking up like massive hangover. Oh. And then I was like, oh, I'll go see if the boys are home. Yeah, we went and, and checked on them. Like fucking like 50 <laughs> meters away. I just hear the, the, the gagging already. <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh my God, they must be fucked. And I walked into the fucking room where Luke and James are. And James is just fucking vomiting everywhere. And Luke's standing up like like trying to hold back gagging as well. James was their, so their hungover. pillows had little bits of vomit <laughs> on the so side really of them. Fucking vomit yeah, everywhere. And James was, was so oh, hungover. He couldn't. Spewing all down the street in front of families <laughs> when we were watching the oh, next day. And then James, oh, get, like we went to get James a juice. And we seriously considered oh. just getting a shot of vodka and putting it in the juice. Yeah, tent. hair of the dog. Not a bad idea. <laughs> but and like, yeah, so you woke was, up and it was like, what, fuck, what happened? Yeah, yeah, full blackout. Yeah. So full blackout. And James stayed in bed. And then me and Luke like went out to lunch to like try and get rid of our hangover. And we ran into James's uni mates, the teacher friends. <laughs> And they were both just like sh- they were all just like shaking their heads as they saw us, and we we're just <laughs> like, like, "What? Like what upset? happened?" Like literally, yeah. Like when we we're just like we literally don't remember a thing. Like what happened? And then they told us what we did, which kind of jogged our memory, and it was just like <laughs> so shocking to hear. That. And then he's like, "Yeah," and then you guys were like throwing drinks at the musicians and pissing under the table and all this shit. Oh, oh man, it's shit. it's so intense. Oh, oh. Man. <laughs> And then James was so sick for like three days. Yeah, it was rough. Oh, oh man. And, but then, yeah, so they lost thong and um, pants, um, thong and shirt. And then on the way back, so we went up further like north. Like a week later. Yeah, and then on the way back, we stopped in at Ellie again and then fucking went for a walk and found your thong and shirt. Yep. That is insane. Sitting at the end of the headland. They were just sitting on their own, sitting there. So I must have literally just gone and like sat in front of the water, <laughs> considering my life and taken off my shirt and picked a thong. <laughs> Oh, oh, and then you must have doing. been maybe been a bit worried and tried to get back to, to society. Oh, dude, I'm just, amazed, amazed I made it home. Honestly, <laughs> amazed and amazed that I kept my phone somehow. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> That is rough. It's so funny when that happens to James because he's not used to that. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, there's a few violent, times I try no. and keep up. Are there other nights that I, I, I realise I cannot. <laughs> yeah, when, you, when you get sick from drinks, you get violently oh, sick. Dude, it's incredible. For, for like, yeah, literally a day and a half, I'll be hungover. <laughs> Man. <laughs> it's not on. Oh, oh times, man. The best <laughs> nights are the ones you don't remember. <laughs> Fucking old <I'd> cunt. <laughs> Fucking old. I think they're the best because you can't remember. You can't <laughs> yeah, cross check that information. It's not 100%. <laughs> it's not 100%. <laughs> Probably. Oh, but yeah, that was a fucking wild night, though, aren't I? I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, James, you've, this is the next one's all yeah, you. This I yeah, haven't heard. We, how did we get onto this before? We were so talking um, about someone hurting them. Yeah, so I, I, I said, would you my, cut yeah. a yes. off for a amount of... Yeah, my, yeah, Michael said, would you cut your nipple off for a certain reason? And that reminded me of a story of one of my mates in Sydney. Oh, oh. Fuck, it honestly <gasps> makes me cringe. All right, sit up straight and listen. He, um, yeah, so he had, he had a nipple piercing. <laughs> and, and it got then infected. He had, he had like a bit of a night out and... um can't remember why how, how it happened but anyway he was in the, he was at his house he has like one of those showers similar to my, my place where it's like you stand in a bathtub you know and you shower in the bathtub not good like i've nearly fallen over multiple Just times curve. yeah exactly mm. curve and, curve and sort slip of, yeah if you're a little bit higher you're slip a little bit curve. sloshed it's a, it's a bit it's a bit crazy yeah yeah, yeah true water gets everywhere but he had for some reason maybe it's because he's a gay dude but he had like a mesh a mesh um shower curtain oh no yeah what's that mean it's like a material that's like sort of like net. yeah like a sort of there's little mini tiny holes in it okay so he had that probably looked really cool but anyway he oh fuck it something happened i don't know if he i can't remember if he staggered or if he was a bit i think he was a bit sloshed and he sort of like moved a bit into his curtain and the curtain got caught on the nipple ring uh. and he sort of like realized it and realized he was overbalancing, but by that point it was too late and like slipped out of the bathtub and fell to the ground and sort of like landed on the ground and didn't really hurt himself too badly and sort of looked looked down because oh. he had a bit of pain and he literally just like sticky tape style strip of his own flesh oh, like ripped his nipple fuck. almost clean off. Ah. Uh. No oh, man, yeah, like quite. He's still got some scarring. Oh, so this, the nipple doesn't grow back. No, it doesn't. But there, like, I think it was able to be reattached because he's still got a nipple. I've seen him. So it's holy like, whoa. shit! Can you imagine oh. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd It'll be, be so annoying to have to deal with that late at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, for fuck's too. sake! Oh no! Yeah, to dry yourself off and there'd be blood running down oh. your fucking body. And you have oh, to just flap it. You have to be flapping pick, against your tit. Oh. Pick your nip off the, out of the fucking shower curtain and call a fucking ambo. How did he do it? Get it back? I sewed it on. Remember. It's been Stitch so long. Sewing Stitch. machine. I have this weird memory of you saying that he actually just placed it back on and it reattached yeah, I think, itself. I think he might have. Like he, he let From it memory, dry. I think he was embarrassed. Blood. I'll ask him next time I talk to him. But yeah, I do have a memory of him just like, you know that really intensely sticky strips you can just put on? Mm. He just sort of did it and eventually it healed over. Oh, oh wow. my God. Yeah, it, just yeah. it just went back on. So it's like like grass. When you get grass and you put it down on the lawn, it just, put the grass back. It just gets, gets in. I think as long sure. as it's still attached, that can happen. It can take as they call it. It's like oh. when Jet got his lip ripped off, they tried to do that, but it didn't work. Oh, God. Oh, man. Anyway, that's fucked. There you anyway. go. There's some fucking tales of Bethlehem, everybody. Gross <coughs> last one. Don't get mesh shower curtains. Or yeah. nip piercings. Or nipple piercings. Or fall over. Yeah, no, don't do that either. Yeah, don't drink and shit. Yeah. Be safe. I go on bridges and vomit. All right, let's be have safe. a quick bong break and we'll be right back with a prank call. Get into it, inhale. Fuck a deep. Pack that fucking shit in deep, cunt. <sighs> fucking slowly draw it in. Draw it in. And we're back. <laughs> All right, Brown wants to do a quick fucking PO box. It's hopefully it's not fucking stupid sticker shit, bitch. No, no stickers this week. It's been a busy week. I haven't had time to collect any stickers, so no stickers this week. All right, uh, we got a postcard in the PO box. Um, do you want to do the PO box? If you would like to send us something, we open everything live on the podcast and to PO Box 256 Tegum, 4018 Queensland, Australia. And uh, like I said, we open everything live. So fresh shit and piss is welcome. Oh, I, I, a I, huge I, basket of teeth. Oh. Remember, we need your hair. Yeah, more pubes, please. We're, we're yeah, getting hair. pretty good, though. We're, we've got a fair can we few see an update? Just a fair chunk of it, yeah. Oh, maybe can we not show it? Look, so that's what we got so far. And there is some more flying around. Hair. There's that's some more. Some more floating around. I and we'll was, apply was, it with was, clag glue. <laughs> Can we still get clag glue? Is that a thing? I've sure. got a two litre bottle of it under my yes. house because I used to be teach. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we've received a postcard. Um, <laughs> bless you. I, 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 Hanging I, up. 
I will. Ha- I will. Oh, I'm very allergic to anthrax. Really? I hope that's not what that is. Hey boys, don't have to read this on a potty, but if you don't, <laughs> if you don't want to, but I got this and thought to send you something. The guy. I struggle a lot with certain things in life, with anxiety and depression, but honestly, the podcast makes me laugh and actually relax listening. Hell yeah. I just want to say thank you for that. Keep it up. Really helps. Rest in peace, Posley. Love you, boys. Oh, thank you very oh, much. Dude. Where is yeah, this dude. from? Uh, this he didn't really re- tell us what where he's from. What a legend. Thank you, man. Where he's from or who it is. Does he he's say his mystery. name? His name is Mystery. He's Mystery Man. He's Mystery Austin Man. Powers, maybe. Thank you, Mystery Man. Well, they're probably not going to like uh, if they like our podcast for making them laugh and curing their depression. They're probably not going to like the podcast that's about to come out. In <laughs> yeah, forty minutes. Yeah, the next well, yeah. podcast is. This is two weeks from so the Bosley episode. Very depressing. Yeah. But anyway, Sorry. prank call time. Wow! Wow! Well, wow! Well. Hit it, Brown. I was, I was, I was, I was. He, he, he. Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha 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 ha! It's prank call time. How may I help? Um, hello. Um, my son um, has just come home, um, and I've just noticed that he's carrying a, an entire bag full of lollies and chocolates um, and all sorts of things. Um, and um, he, I didn't give him any money uh, to go out and, and, and buy these things. So he's come home with a whole bag, and I'm just wondering, and I'm thinking, he goes to your Drake's a lot. Have, have you guys recently had in a little uh, 15-year-old boy who um, may have walked out with, with some lollies? Um, I don't know. I will have uh, ask one of the other guys up here. Yeah, please. If, if, if you could, anything. I'd like to. I'd like to pinpoint exactly where he's gotten them from because I'm. I'm going to be making him return them. Yeah. All right. Just give me two seconds. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, you still with me? Yeah. What's going on, darling? Um. So none of the people up here have seen anything. Um. Right. Suspicious. But right. we also have been really busy today. Yeah. Okay. So, so he might he could have snuck in around the back when no one was was watching and and filled a bag up and left. And, and to, to be honest, I, I suspect that that's exactly what's happened. Uh, my my fifteen year old son has has come in and and stolen from you guys. And I I just on behalf of our family, I'd just like to apologise first of all. So I'm I'm deeply Thank sorry. You. And um, I, I will right. be making him um, re- return the item. So if he if he comes in uh, j- just with the bag, w- will he be able to return the lollies to your store without any issue? Hello. Hello. Will he be able to, to re- return the lollies to your store? Yeah. Will he won't need. Um- if he if-, if I come in with him, um, will you guys be um, pressing any kind of um? Uh, charges or anything, or is there, is there a uh, kind of protocol for that? Or um, I will talk to one of the managers that are here at the moment, and I'll see what yeah. would happen. Okay, look, um, um, I'm, I'm okay with um, you, if you guys have to report this to the police, but I would like there to not be a mark on his um, name, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so maybe yeah. if you could, um, I, I, I want him to be punished and to make sure that he's learned that you do not steal from grocery stores, Bront. But I'd really like to make sure that it's not a kind of permanent blemish on his record. Yeah. Um, if you want, I can write down your name and phone number. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. Um, so Thank when you, you come in, I can yeah. give it to one of the other workers here. Yeah, that would be great. In fact, I might come in with him um, just to make sure this all goes smoothly. But um, I'll, I'll j- jot down my name and I'll give you my number as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I've got a piece of paper here. Okay. So Margaret, M-A-R-G-A-R-E-T-T. T. M A R. M A R G A R E T T E T T E T T. Yep. Thombus. T H. Thunders. Thombus. T H O M B U S. Margaret Thombus. And, yep. my, and my son's name is Bront. B R O N T. Thombus. Yep. And, and just by the looks of it, um, I'd say he's probably got maybe um thirty to forty dollars worth of chocolate and lollies that his little hands have taken from your store. So it's about thirty to forty dollars worth of um product that he will be returning. Yeah, is is, is that okay? Alrighty. So just to be clear, there will be no um charges being pressed. 
Um, I'll talk to my manager about it. Would it be possible to maybe do that beforehand? Just I, I don't I don't yeah. I don't want to take my son in and be confronted with police. Okay, I'm all for punishing him, but I will not be having a permanent mark on his name from one stupid mistake. Right. Um, just give me two seconds. I'll chuck you on hold and yeah, I'll talk no, to my manager. Great. No worries. Thank you so much, mate. I, I appreciate it. Family owned Australian oh. business established in 1974. Hi, this is Lewis from Drake's McDowell. Thank you for holding. No, that's okay. No worries at all. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. I I couldn't quite make out what you were saying there. I said, yeah, that's okay. So, um, did did your um employee speak to you about what's happened here? Yeah, so your son's come home with some stolen goods, has he? Yeah, an entire bag full of lollies and chocolate! And I'm not standing for it today, so I'm forcing him to return everything. Um, And, yeah, I, I, I'm deeply apologetic. Um. Uh, on behalf of my, my entire Thombus family, I'd just like to say um, we really, I really am super apologetic. Oh, man, yeah, no, th- thank you very much for calling us and letting us know. I, mean, I, I, I'll, I'll let you know I'm, I'm having a hard time just um, hearing you over the phone. It's just coming through really muffled. Right. Um, but mate, um, thank you very much for, for catching that one out and uh, ringing us up. Yeah, no, um, I really want him so to, I, to learn his lesson and making sure that he never does this again. So if you guys want to take a picture of him and hang it up to, to really discourage his dirty little fingers from taking from you guys in the future, I would be okay with that as well. Yeah, no, so thank you very much for letting us know that, mate. If, if you are able to come down and drop those off, um, we will keep a, a record of just... Uh, his face just to yeah, no, uh, keep great. an eye out and just let people know what's happened no, it's great but mate if, um, if you're able to drop yeah, those back down to the store we won't lady. take any sort of legal action um, if, yeah, yeah. if it is able to just be a good learning lesson for him yeah, no, um, that's, that. yeah that, that's fine if everything is returned that's no harm no yeah, foul yeah, there yeah, in, in, yeah. in the end of the day okay that's great yeah, no, it's, Look, I, I, I yeah, am definitely a learning lesson for him okay great no that's great to hear I am actually his mother I am a lady but um, yeah just to be clear so there will be no police involved if I come with him because I want him to to learn his lesson, and I, and I would, I'm, I'm all for embarrassing him publicly for what he's done. But, but I don't want there to be any kind of permanent record, um, so, so you know, which might ruin his future. Do you, do you know what I mean there? Yeah, and no, I, it, mate, like at this point, if, if you're able to bring those down, if you want to bring them down as well, and just, I'll have a quick word with him. And then, um, if, yeah, I'm, I'm confident you're able to yeah. have this a teaching lesson for him okay, or a learning Thank moment you. for him. I but really yeah, if, if everything's able to come back to the shop, mate, there's no need to get the cops involved this time. If it happens again, um, obviously going to have to get that sort of um, that ball rolling there. No, I completely but understand. At, at this and point, mate, if it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I, I completely understand. And yes, if he does it again, he will not be leaving the house for months and months. You have my word. You have my word on my sword so I will yeah, bring him in thank you. and um yeah no. okay so um we, we should be in short absolutely mate so um, once you get here just um let the people know at the front just to call Lewis down the front and I'll be up to have a quick word okay no worries alright we, we should be in within about 20 to 15 minutes depending on how quickly broads can get fucking changed don't get changed so we should be in shortly. I'll, I'll see you soon. And, and again, I'm so, so sorry for what's happened today. No worries, mate. I really do appreciate you calling up with that information. No thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you so much. And, for uh, sorry, what, what was your name? So my name is Margaret. I'm actually his mother. That, that was Michael, sorry? Margaret. M A R G. Oh, Ma- Margaret. Yes, I'm actually a lady. Uh, uh, Thombus? Marty Th- Margaret Thombus. Yes, that's correct. Thombus. No worries, mate. I'll see you in shortly. That's, that's no worries at all. Thank you so much for calling up and letting us know. No, no. I really appreciate you taking the time and hearing my complaint. We'll see you guys shortly. No worries, mate. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. No worries. Thank you, but darling. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh Dude, we fuck. listed the Marty and Michael slip. He said yeah. Michael, and then you, you said, said Marty. Yeah. I think that's why <laughs> it subconsciously oh, 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 fucks that's me. That's crazy <laughs> that he said Michael. Oh, oh, it's oh, unbelievable man. how they they just grow <laughs> to understand. That, okay, that's that's, that's how yeah. this is. <laughs> And the first time I do it, it the first time I do it, there's always like a really long pause. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like he was like a teenager, you could hear in his voice, and his brain was just going, "I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> Is this real?" I wish that you got really, really angry at Lewis, him at the end for, <laughs> for misgendering you. <laughs> yeah, I'm yelling at him. Oh, but very, very good. That was a laugh and a half. That was very good. 
All right, guys, there's the end of episode number 34. Um, we'll fucking see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five-star review on Spotify. It's the only thing that keeps us alive. And, and if you want to see the uncut version of this, remember we, uh, we post the original audio on Spotify. For YouTube, we have to... Clean um, it up a Yeah, bit. clean it up a little bit. So if you want to see the dirty version, head to Spotify and give us a five-star review. Fuck, fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah, bro. Fucking woo! get around it, everyone. We 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 we